clearly today, we are a free trade country, uh, and we believe that we still can compete uh, effectively. Uh, at the same point in time, there's more and more concerns about unemployment here, underemployment here, uh, and whether or not free trade is always fair trade, whether or not some of the countries that we're trading with are playing by fair rules, uh, and therefore we are disadvantaged. Uh, and, and those are issues that clearly have to be focused on. The issue of trade can't be solved by simply choosing an ideological side. Most likely, the answer is finding a balance somewhere in the middle. A better use of our time is to consider how we shop. After all, our actions usually speak louder to what we believe than our opinions anyway. Through the recession, many of us woke up and found that our bellies were too big, our closets were too big, our houses were too big, our cars were too big, and that we needed to go on a diet. What has happened in this orgy of debt over the past few years is that debt has made up the gap between what people can pay for with their jobs, where now remember that we haven't had real wage increases for 40 or so years. Uh, debt is making up the difference between what they can afford with their jobs and what they are consuming. I resent it when somebody comes to me and goes, tell me all the tricks that merchants and marketers use to trick me into buying goods. I'm not tricking you into buying anything. You have the responsibility to be able to look at it, process it, understand it here, and see whether it fits into the context of your life. We need to get beyond the thrill of the purchase to the pride of ownership.